Hello, adventurous travelers and friends, and welcome back to a Bragworthy Adventures video. I'm your host, Rose, and today we are talking about Marco once again. One of my favorite ways to travel is through food. I always like to look up the national dish or the most well-known dish in an area, try it out because food is part of culture and you gotta eat to survive, right? So with Marco Island being a, such a small island, only 25 square miles, you might not know that there's actually so many good places to eat there. And I wanted to share some of my favorites with you. So. It was really hard for me to narrow down this list. I had some help from my parents who are residents there because they eat there more often than I do, but I made sure that I taste tested every single one of these places and I approved them personally. And I can't wait to take you with me through this little video to the places that I like to eat so that you know where to go and where to get some grub. Now, one of the first places on my list, and these are not in order of favorite to least favorite. This is just what popped out of my head. <laughs> so there's no preference based on one, two, three. But the first place to pop into my head was Zaza's Kitchen. This is authentic Mexican food. I'm doing this only because they now serve pizza and I don't know if that's the most authentic, but it is super delicious Mexican food. My favorite dish is the steak fajitas, but I've also tried their tacos and their ceviche, and it is delicious. It kind of is tucked away in a little strip mall off of Bald Eagle. They're open for dinner, 4 to 9 p.m., Tuesday through Saturday, so they're closed Sunday. And I've met the owner. He actually owns another one of the locations that's on this list, which is the Summer Day Cafe. Now, the Summer Day Cafe is kind of like a grocery store, but with a little outpost for food. So it's definitely kind of like a hole in the wall. It's not, uh, it wouldn't pop up in your head as a, a restaurant if you drove by it, but they have some amazing acai bowls, some great smoothies, and I've even had a really good chicken wilder wrap from them before. It's all very health food, gluten friendly, and they are in the Marco Town Center Mall and they are open 9 to 5 Monday through Friday, 10 to 4 Saturday. They're closed on Sunday. Now there's another health food place on the island that I tried for the very first time after my mom recommended it for this video called the Lakeside Eatery. Now they call their food trendy food with a healthy twist. So it's not all super healthy, but they're trying to be healthy and it is absolutely gorgeous to look at in photos and in person. And this restaurant is located on Marco Lake Drive, but they can be hard to get to because they have very specific hours. They're only a lunch restaurant. So 10.30 to 3 p.m. only on weekdays, so not on weekends. So if you want to eat at Lakeside Eatery, make sure you think ahead on that one. Another place that you've got to try when you're on Marco Island is Stilts. I had so much fun going to this place because the views there are spectacular. You have to eat at the restaurant. This is not a grab and go place. This is actually a bar and grill in the Marriott, so it can be a little intimidating to park there. But if you come into the second entrance and you let the parking attendant know that you're going to be going to Stilts, they'll let you in and they'll let you park and then you walk upstairs and it's these glass sort of barriers and this view straight out onto the beach. It's a very small restaurant, feels very exclusive and the food was fantastic. I had some crab cakes that were so delicious. Like they even had a pretty good key lime pie and I'm practically an expert after trying, what was it, seven key lime pies down in Key West. They're open for lunch and dinner. They didn't have specific hours on the restaurant website and they are off of Collier Boulevard. Now speaking of boulevards, there's a restaurant called Boulevard and it is one of my favorites. This place is so delicious and so good that I want it for every occasion, but it is probably one of the pricier restaurants on this list. They call it continental food. I'm not sure what I would call it because yeah, it's a little bit of everything. They've got, you know, amazing chicken, amazing salmon. They've got these flatbreads. Uh, they have this one with gorgonzola and pear. 
Oh, it's to die for. And they're open from 5 to 9 p.m., so dinner time. They are also on Collier Boulevard. So drive up the road. If you can't go to Stilts, go to Boulevard. It is amazing. We've even had a lobster mac and cheese there. Oh, I just, I can't get enough of their food. They're so good. A couple of the cheaper eats on this list are Libby's, which is super good, cash only, so make sure to go to an ATM before you visit. They've got fresh seafood plates and like tacos or burritos, sort of. And all of their fish is fresh. They're open from 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. and they are down in Old Marco area in this really cute little shopping spot with gorgeous painted shops. Now, after all of these places, I know I mentioned this place in my places to go and things to do in Marco, but you've got to get some dessert and what better place than Sweet Annie's. Sweet Annie's is honestly one of my favorite spots on this planet. Just the ambiance of their like cute little store and with their games and with their old like candies and puzzles and all the ice cream flavors and my favorite chocolate raspberry truffle flavor. They're so good. Honestly, they can't be beat. They're open from noon to 10 p.m. most days, except for Friday, Saturday. You get an extra hour to enjoy Sweet Annie. And they're open until 11 p.m. And they are right on Bald Eagle Drive. Hard to miss, gorgeous place, gorgeous ice cream. Now, if you enjoy videos like this where I talk about food or things to do or kind of give you some expectations on different places to go in the world, and right now I'm mostly in Florida because that's where I'm at, go ahead and hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye, travelers.